What's up guys, it's Ryantium here, and today we are back in Skyrim. That's right you guys, and don't snap, it's gonna be an awesome freaking day. So guys, welcome back, and happy Showcase Day. So we are here once again in the wonderful city of Whiterun, taking a look at the Astronomer's Loft. Now the Astronomer's Loft is a home, uh, more so kind of a nook, here in the lovely city of Whiterun. And the only way to find it is indeed to come to Whiterun. So everyone knows where Whiterun is at, it's not really that far away from anything. Uh, but we've got Whiterun Stables, Pelagia Farm, Haunting Brumetery, all of these different places around it. Not very difficult to find, mainly because it's the main place where the main storyline even takes place. But the place inside of Whiterun that you need to find is Arcadia's Cauldron. Now, Arcadia's Cauldron is right across the street from Bellathor's General Goods Store. This is General uh, Bellathor's General Goods, and then you have Arcadia's Cauldron right here. Now, you're going to want to avoid the front door. Instead... Find the front door and walk to the left, around the back side of the house, and you come to this door right here, the Astronomer's Loft. And that's right. The Astronomer's Loft is actually a part of Arcadia's Cauldron, because the little bit of backstory is Ferengar, the court wizard, was actually renting this from the woman who owns Arcadia's Cauldron. So it's kind of a neat little backstory, but it plops you out here in this very cramped entranceway. In fact, I don't even think the door could actually open that far. You'd have to kind of either pull it out, or, you know, it, it would have to be a pull door <laughs> from the outside, because there's no damn way this door could swing in. But... This is a very small home, so for those of you looking for a collector's home, those of you looking for a giant castle, uh, this is definitely not it. But those of you looking for a beloved, lovely little starter home, uh, especially one that's uh, geared towards uh, book lovers, mages, alchemists, everything like that, and people who just want a place to rest their head, this is the house for you. So in typical Ryantium fashion, let's break it down, shall we? So the front entrance right here does indeed have a few bits and bobs as far as being able to store some things. Lots and lots of static clutter in this home. You'll find that as a theme as we go on. But it's a great utilization of space. Granted, the front is a tad cramped, but it is a loft, so it's going to be small. But I promise you, it opens up a little bit as we come up the stairs, or up the ladder. And just look at this. Look at how enchanting this little spot is. Now, like I said, it did open up quite a bit, and we can see that we've got our um, telescope right here, because this is the Astronomer's Loft. I wish you could use it. I don't even care if it just displayed a, a JPEG of stars. I think it would be the coolest thing ever to use uh, a, uh, a telescope in the game of Skyrim. So, we've got ourselves a beautiful little nook over here in the corner. Lots of book storage, lots of static clutter making this feel very homey, very warm. Everything that you could possibly want in a very tiny home. Not to mention, it's all just kind of placed perfectly. There's nothing really that's out of place that I can see. All of the decorations, they're so nicely placed inside of the home itself, and they go with one another. And it's just a really, really neat little spot. So let's start off with this little table right here. we got a cupboard, as well as a big wardrobe next to it. Lots and lots of static clutter. But as we continue through here, we do have our enchantment book. And our enchantment book is our enchanting table. You can learn uh, all of your stuff from there, as a regular enchanting table would be. And above that, we also have the alchemy alembic, which is wonderful, because it is the alchemy table. So you've got a satchel to store some of your, you know, your ingredients and everything like that. You have some really cool little miniatures and some statues here in the, in the house, which is really kind of a neat little touch. And then we've got some more static clutter over here. There is a master lock right here. Uh, I don't exactly know why you would have a master locked brief or a master locked display case with three books behind it, but you're more than welcome to take a look at that uh, if you decide to download this home. But lots of book storage for the bookworms of Skyrim, because I know there's quite a few watching. And such a beautiful little spot here. We have a strong box right there, a cool map of Skyrim back there, lots and lots more static clutter. And then a beautiful little seating area right here for one, but it actually does have some functionality because you have a cooking, uh, a stew pot right there, which allows you to use the cooking spit. And then we have the cooking fire, which you can use to use as the oven uh, and make all of your, all of your nice treats and stuff like that. Some more book storage, everything like that. Nothing too, too crazy over here. Some nice display cases or some, some display areas over here with some more static, uh, static clutter. A chair over there in the corner, but I feel like it would be impossible to get out of. Because you're kind of squished over here in the uh, in the corner. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't phase you through the table. And it's a little awkward getting away from that, but that's okay. The physics of Skyrim are a tad awkward too. But then we got ourselves a nice big safe. A sack with some apples in it. 
a chest right here to store some bits and bobs. And then last but not least, we have our bedroom area over here. Talk about an adorable little nook. The bed is, is kind of tiny, I'll tell you that. Uh, but even still, it's kind of a neat little spot to have. You got some cupboard storage there, maybe some books, grab yourself, you know, a nightlight, something like that. It's just kind of a really, really cool little loft up here. Not to mention, it fits here in Arcadia's Cauldron so perfectly. Now, the other cool thing is the lighting on the inside does actually change based on the time of day. So at midnight, you know, obviously you've got the, the moonlight coming in. And I just wish that I could use this damn telescope. That would be so cool. That would be the icing on the cake for this cute little loft. Uh, and then, you know, as the, as the sunlight rises, it gets a little warmer. And then during the daytime, it gets a little cooler. Everything like that. The sunlight coming in. And I bet you it changes with the weather too, which is a really cool feature. So this is the Astronomer's Loft, a very small beginner's home, one that I think would be perfect for any mage playthrough. Perhaps you want to roleplay as a student and they are, you know, studying uh, the, the, the uh, what's the word I'm looking for, the intricacies of, of magic and alchemy before they take the trip up north to the College of Winterhold. Or perhaps you're kind of a reclusive mage, one that likes to kind of stick away from the rebel rousal of every, or rabble rousal of uh, everyone out there in, uh, in Whiterun. Just kind of stick to your study and read your books and everything like that. It's a beautiful, cozy little home here, and I think I would be more than happy at this little house. So let me know what you guys think, guys. Would you use this? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Uh, were you looking for something else? Let me know down there in the comment section. And until next time, guys, thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.